new jobs to our community, 60 existing full-time employees retained and 60 additional seasonal employees and $2.5 million in capital investment. We're very excited about this new opportunity to grow a local company and retain those existing jobs and create growth. Give those folks a round of applause. <laughs> this 75,000 square foot building behind us today will be the future home of Jostin's new expanded facility here in Sedalia. Printlinks doing business as Jostin's will consolidate their two locations at Sedalia under one roof and expand their footprint here in Bettis County. This facility could be located anywhere in the United States, so we're very proud and thankful to Jostens for investing in Sedalia by expanding and seeing the value in our community and the location here with our people. Thank you very much. Printlink sells and services four brands for Jostens at the Sedalia plant, Memory Book Company, Meridian Student Planners, Printlinks, and Kindercraft. From design to manufacturing and fulfillment, this location is a strategic asset for Jostens. Launched in Sedalia in 1984 as Publishing Enterprises and known over time as PIP Printing, Print Links, and Memory Book, we are excited for the commitment to growth that this new facility means to Jostens, Sedalia, and Bettis County. At this time, I would like to ask the City of Sedalia Mayor Pro Tem, David Meyer, to come up and say a few words. David? Don. 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 <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Don is just fine. <laughs> Thank you very much for that introduction. Uh, the City of Sedalia is... Uh, thankful to the Jocelyn uh, Company for the investment they've made in the past and in the future. They've been a great uh, working uh, partner for us. There's been a great deal of uh, economy uh, boost because of them and we can't say any more than that but we're glad to have you. Governor, we're glad that uh, you had a chance to come with us today because we know you're a very busy man. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to turn this over to Presiding Commissioner David Dick. Thank you. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Don. Uh, you know, this is just tremendous. Print Link's long-time employer in the community, wonderful, wonderful relationship with the city and the county. Jostens, though, that's just that extra piece, that parent company that owns them. So the combination of that, staying local, adding local jobs, and the, you know those temporary jobs seasonally as you need them tremendous that's that's just tremendous and so we're we're tickled to death to have them here uh, you know Jessica and that group the economic development group always looking for those opportunities where you see them where you don't see them so you know these are just one of those good things and, and Mike it is glad I'm tickled to have you we should both be in the hay field but that's another, another story uh, but I'm here to introduce Mr. Chuck Moody the CEO of, of Charleston's the parent company of print links and Chuck, just so you know, on my dresser at home, I have a Jostens class ring. It's got a little age on it now, but I still got that thing. So you all have been in the business, and you're a wonderful partner. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you all for attending, and, and Rusty and David and Don, thank you for your remarks. And Governor, thank you so very much for being here. Your presence means a lot to to the community, but also to us here at Jostens and Pet Link, and so we very much appreciate it. We get the chance to celebrate, we love to talk about ourselves as being the trusted partner to celebrate moments that matter. And, uh, and we do that through kids, through schools, across the world. In many ways, this is a great moment to be able to celebrate. And it's great to see a new facility and a new activity, and I want to thank uh, the Desfield family for for all of their investment and their commitment and their partnership that they have shown in making this our new home uh, in the next couple months. But more than anything, the reason why we're investing and committing here is because of the people. And it's the people that make an organization uh, and make an organization great. And I can tell you very comfortably that we could not be more proud of the Joss and Printlink group here and the commitment that they have provided to our company and to the community here. And it takes the gumption and the wherewithal within our business, given the timelines and all the craziness that can occur, it just takes people who want to commit themselves. And this is the most devoted group that you could ever ask to be a part of. And I just want to say thank you to all of our employees here. Thank you to the community members that are here. And thank you to all the representatives that are here to support this uh, important initiative because this is going to be home for us now for a good period of time and to be able to create more jobs and opportunities here is really what it's all about. 
I want to introduce Heather, but before I introduce Heather, I just want to talk about the importance of this project being a reflection of the confidence and and just the enjoyment and the incredible pride that we have in Heather and her leadership. Uh, she was taught by Steve Kane, uh, who is here as well, uh, but it has been really neat to see Heather become just such an incredible leader uh, for our organization, and I think all of the team members would agree that there is just a specialness that comes with Heather. And so without further ado, I want to introduce Heather Cantrell to be able to talk about the wonderful work here. Heather. Sedalia, Missouri is a great place to be, but I think it's an even greater place to be from. We're a community that's generous and we're full of tradition. And I think as Sedalians, you know, there's certain things that we count on. Certainly this weather in July, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think we count on the first Thursday of the fair being Sedalia Day and being the day we get to see the parade and being the day we get the best deals on corn dogs and pineapple whips. I think we count on um, an awesome firework display downtown on Thanksgiving night and I think most importantly that we count on each other um, you know we take up for each other we concentrate on buying locally supporting our local business we generously give to our local United Way and we get far more in return than what we give and we support our schools to ensure that we get the workforce needed as they graduate and if you've ever taken a company through an expansion, which I'll say this is my first, um, you know it takes a community like this. I look out and I see, I see friends, I see family, I see a lot of customers, I see vendors, I see suppliers, and every single one of us contribute to making this happen. Thank you for being outstanding leaders. And I probably could take an hour thanking each of you individually, I get that it's hot, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I would like to thank a few. For over 30 years, Lanny Manis and Steve Kane formed Print Links into the dedicated family that we are today. Thank you. Thank you, Rusty. Thank you very much. Uh, always good to be in Sedalia, Missouri, and see so many familiar faces out there and friends that me and Teresa have got to know over the years. And it's, it's great to be here. So I had this great speech all lined up to tell you guys today. But it's a little hot out here. Would you, would you agree? So it may be politically better for me not to make the speech today and just tell you thanks for coming. But I, I, and Don also got thank you for being here representing the city. Thanks, sir. But let me tell you something about politics. I've been around long enough. If, if the only thing you've got to worry about is them making the wrong first name, calling you the wrong first name, believe me, if you stay in this business long enough, it'll be a lot worse than that before it's over. It'll be a lot worse. There you go. Well, we have that. David, good to see you and Chuck. Uh, great for you to be here today. I, I, before I start making comments uh, about the event today, uh, a lot of the legislators are up here, and I, I want to make a few comments about them. Uh, it's not in the script, but this year we all know Missouri went through some trying times uh, of what happened in our state. And throughout the legislative process, the legislators, both in the House and Senate, kept their nose to the grindstone doing what was best for the state of Missouri. They really did. Uh, and there's a reason why there's different branches of government. And this year we got to see that firsthand of the men and women that were both in the House and the Senate that kept working. And really at the end of the day, they did what was best for Missourians. They stayed focused on what their jobs were and everything. And they probably had one of the best years in the legislative year that I've known in a long time for multiple reasons. I could name a lot of them. But I just want you today and I want to be part of the appreciation for what they've done this year at the state capitol. Thank all of you. And I do want to thank a couple other things. I know Sandy Crawford took my place, uh, you know, which, which, which she was one of my best campaigners, but I think she was trying to push me out the door a little bit. But anyhow, uh, she did a good job. And needless to say, uh, you know, I took the place, uh, I forget the senator's name that used to be up here. Uh, <laughs> but anyhow, uh, you know, I got more than <laughs> Good to see you here, Senator. Thank you, on that Governor. Gym. Good to see you. And then Representative Dave Munsell and Jeannie Lauer for, for doing all she did. Jeannie, I don't know if the folks here see, but just raise your hand and wave to them real quick. She was the one behind this bill to help me. 
You know, since, since the days of Sedalia being a railroad hub, has always been rich with history in Sedalia. And though many know this town as the site of our Missouri State Fair, including myself, uh, that's one of the first things I always think about when I think of Sedalia as the State Fair. And the fact is, Sedalia has developed into one of the very successful manufacturing and service companies, service towns in the state of Missouri, which is always something. And though I'm excited to be here in just a few weeks, as hundreds of thousands of visitors will show up for one of the largest state fairs in the United States, visitors from all over will be coming to see what our state has to offer to enjoy the community events, the ag culture showcase, and boosting the local economy and local tourism. I'm equally proud to be here today to announce the expansion of Jostin's manufacturing facility that has been producing quality yearbooks for our schools and our students for over 35 years. And if you all just take a real second like me, you get to thinking about all the memories that are shared in those books over the years for all of our lives and what we went through and how much a historical that does for all of us to remember those days and to have the history of that is, is quite an accomplishment. I thank you for providing that for all of us as individuals to do that. You know, I'm excited to be here today to announce that Justin is, is creating more jobs, uh, 20 new jobs, paying good money, average salary about 40000 and expanding a $1.8 million new construction project. I want to say something about this particular business today. A lot of times in, in the state, we highlight larger companies, bigger companies, and we're, we always strive to get those companies to come to the state of Missouri because it makes us a better state. But I'm telling you, the heart and soul of who Missouri is our companies just like this right here. Yes. Those small companies, that's who we are. And when you think of people like this, this is what drives the economy every day. And this is hometown folks with hometown people working here. And for you employees that are here, to have good jobs anymore is a big deal. Because everywhere you go in the state of Missouri, people are looking, searching for good quality employees. So my hat's off to you guys for being good employees or you wouldn't be here, I'll tell you that right now. So I think that's important for what they do. It says a lot for the people that work here, and I know they highlighted that a while ago on that. Uh, so much of this new project facility will end up doubling Justin's manufacturing, as this location will house the entire small book volume. And one of the incentives that was really helped grow this state and grow this company and improvement is Missouri Works Program. It's a program provided by the state that how much through the Department of Economic Development in the state of Missouri, how much Missouri works helped us. I also want to say at this time, another huge event that's going to be happening, a new program that we're going to do through economic development is called Best in the Midwest. And we are we're going to reform economic development in the Department of Economic Development in the state of Missouri. And we are going to make Missouri the best state in the Midwest to do business, which is going to be a benefit to all of you that are here today. I want to I, I want to say this and, and finishing. I know it's hot out here, so we'll speed through this portion of it a little bit. But it, I, I just appreciate so much being able to come to Sedalia, Missouri. Uh, I, this is just always a place for me and Teresa that we consider uh, a little bit of a secondary home, uh, and for the people that are here. But for all of you people that are here that promote economic development, I, I told my guys coming over here. I said Sedalia has it going on, and when you come to an opening today, Chuck for your grand opening today and for this ex this expansion, you just take a good look at how many people's here today for that. And and I don't believe for a second uh, that that's because the governor's gonna be here. I think they're here promoting <laughs> Missouri businesses and promote businesses in your community. And you guys are so fortunate because I get to travel to a lot of places and I don't see this support on that. So with that, uh, I know Ronnie will have a hook out here and get me out of here. If I make him sweat much longer out here uh, to doing this. But thank you all for coming today. It is an honor and a privilege to be the 57th governor of the state of Missouri. All thank right. you very much for having me here today. Thank you. And we will now do the official part. For me, it's kind of a little bit of a big day because it's the first time I get to do one in Sedalia, Missouri. So, all right, here we go. Congratulations.
Okay, well, where's this one? <laughs> to what happened in Kansas, uh, nor will it resemble what we're going to be doing. You're finished with all the budget bills, are you not? We are finished. You had to be done by the 30th of June. Uh, everything in balance, nothing you're going to have to come back to before January? No, you know what, the budget looks really well. Uh, things are in good shape in the state of Missouri, uh, and I think we're on the right track here. So I, I think we're in good shape, so I don't think we're going to have any bad I think things are looking pretty good. Finally, uh, the president appointed a new Supreme Court judge last night, not directly affecting the state of Missouri, but any Supreme Court judge affecting the state of Missouri. Your thoughts on this choice? Yeah, I think it was a great choice. I think it's what he did. I think the judge would be a great guy. He's got everything under control. The Supreme Court, anytime you make that decision, affects everybody. Uh, I know that's a federal position, uh, and a Washington D insider a little bit, but I'm just telling you, I think the appointment he made is a great appointment. And I think it'll be good for people in Missouri. So I'm excited about that appointment, and I hope they get through the process and, and get it back to where the city room was in front of the membership and the scholarship. Um, no, I don't like I was okay. more focused on the on the jobs. Got it. Perfect. So, All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you. Did Thanks you for being here. Green?